Hi guys, Suffolk Hobbit here, and welcome to another Army Showcase. Today we are looking at Ronin Skirmish Games in the Age of the Samurai, uh, Osprey Publishing. Really good game, really, really cool. Loads of rules, loads of things to do with the games. Really, really accurate to the historical side of things. And it spoke to me, funny enough, because I study, whoops, I study uh, Iaido, which is a uh, martial art, the uh, quick draw of the samurai sword. And also Kimbu, which is uh, sword movements, uh, spear movements, and fan movements to a sung poetry. Really, really cool. I'd recommend it to anyone that wants to try it. It's really good, different. Uh, it's cool to do something which has got so much historical background to it. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, moving back to the thing. Yes, this is Ronin. This is uh, the faction, uh, the Koryu, which is a uh, sword school, traditional sword school in Japan. Would have been around the 1600s, earlier, later to the obviously modern day. But for the war game purposes, this is you know back in the historical wartime uh, side of things. You have loads of different uh, factions, more armoured ones, bandits. Uh, you got religious monks. You name it, they have it. But this appealed to me purely because of what I do. I thought it was quite cool. Um, this chap here is to be my sensei in gaming terms and the reason for that is as you can see he is just so cool is he going to focus no it's not but there you go you can see him just about there I've tried to go for the uh, color uh, design that we actually have in the club all the senseis wear this sort of good gear of a black and gray striped uh, hakama a uh, grey top, you can have black or white, you know, it's all there. And I've also tried to do the Mon, the Monski, which is the club motif or school motif, clan motif, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is the Mon that we have in our club. So I've managed to add it to a few of the models, really, really pleased with them. Um, love this dark, this guy's pose, absolutely awesome, absolutely just so cool. He's uh, just really is. Yeah, he's got his hand on the sayer, the, the scabbard mouth, he's, you know, he's pointing, really, really cool, really dynamic pose. These are the Perry miniatures, they're the uh, class as the unarmoured samurai miniatures. Uh, really cheap, cheaper than, you know, most other games manufacturing uh, companies, you know, about £7 something, I think, for six. They're metal, so they're really strong, really good. That's just so damn cool, so damn cool. But you've got another chap here. Uh, I've given a couple of them brown huckamas because when I'm trying, I have a brown one, so I thought I'd give a bit of a colour variance. But there you go again. You've got the clan uh, motif just there. This is quite a cool pose, quite you know subtle, quite humble looking pose, quite very sort of stereotypically martial art, very humble. You know, stood there waiting to draw the, the enemies attacking him, and then just wash out comes the sword. Really cool. Another one here, another classic samurai pose. Very cool. I've tried to put subtle. Details on the on the sword scabbards, the sayers, just a little bit of detail, a bit of fun. Some just plain. Uh, another guy here, really, really cool. Pleased with him. Got a bald guy here, cool little uh, flower pattern. This I see this pattern on a old antiques sword website, funny enough, and I thought I'd try and add that to this model. It was a yellow and orange flower, it really, really cool, so I've tried to add it onto him. He's, they've even, the historical detail on these miniatures is absolutely brilliant because they've even managed to add. The uh, Tasky, these little white things here, this is what the samurai would have worn around their clothing as a way of a bit of extra, strip, well, backup really. So when they were fighting, if their clothing got ripped, it wouldn't fall apart, it wouldn't fall off, and the Tasky were like an extra set of uh, uh, belts as such to help hold everything together. So the, the historically detail wise, these guys are absolutely brilliant, really, really cool. Perry Brothers have obviously really thought hard about it. And finally, the last model here, he's quite cool. I'm kind of thinking he might become my second in command in terms of gaming uh, abilities and things, just because they all look so dynamic, really cool. And uh, yeah, that is my Koryu, six members. I might try and buy a seventh or an eighth, but points are quite easily spent on this game. Uh, you know, you don't need many models to make a game. A warband, seven or eight is, you know, pretty much standard, really, so I only need one more. Um, they're a bit more of a harder faction to play with looking at the rules, there's more to them. Um, they're low on armour, obviously, so that's a massive downfall, but because they are masters of the sword, they're a sword school, they're quite masterful, obviously. They are going to uh, do some serious damage when they do finally get into those close combat battles, so I think it's going to be a case of hiding in the scenery and charging when it comes to the to the fore. But yeah, there they are. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little... Uh, my little showcase. Uh, like, subscribe, leave comments. Love to have some chats and thoughts and any opinions you guys have on these models. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.